have you ever dreamed of cruising around the Scrap Mechanic Hills on your very own motorcycle? Well, today's your lucky day. Today, I teach you how to build your very own swag cycle. Hello, my fellow Scrap Mechanics. Mr. Miola here, of course, playing Scrap Mechanic again today. Now, today we're going to be doing something that's been fairly requested. It's been requested a lot, in fact, um, especially with all the views that our motorbike creation has been getting. And that is, of course, doing like a tutorial uh, so you guys can build your own. So today we're going to be building pretty much the same motorbike that I built in my video from a couple weeks ago, except we're going to be going really slowly. We're going to be showing the entire process that way that you can guys, you guys can basically build along with us and uh, hopefully build your very own swag cycle um, that you guys can drive around in your own worlds with. Um, yeah, so it's been highly, highly requested more than I expected it to be in fact. So um, I'm kind of, it's a pretty big compliment that people want to be able to build something that I created. So I guess without further ado, let's stop wasting time. Let's get this thing going. I just had to change my depth of field setting because it was like super, super zoomed in. Okay, so of course we're gonna begin like every other build we do with our little lift here. Now this build is actually really, really simple. So it should be pretty friendly for anyone of all ages to pretty much follow this tutorial. Um, we're basically going to be starting out with the base. Now the base of this vehicle is a six by four. You can build this out of anything you like, like any block that you, you really like. Um, we're going to build it out of a combination of metal and we're going to build it out of a little bit of long eye beams. Now I haven't really built with these blocks since we built the original one, I think. Um, so it's going to kind of, it's going to be a bit of playing around a bit, but we'll see how we go. So. We're going to be going four wide like this, and then we're going to be going six blocks long. So that's four blocks long. Then all we're going to do is add another one. Um, now, what I did on the original bike is actually use these two blocks here. I went and brought this little curve out here like so, and this one like that. And then I think this one here was sort of lined up with it as well, like that there. So um, you can do this out of any block you like. In fact, I don't think I did it like that. I think it was more like... I think it was sort of like that. And then, of course, it came two more blocks out the back. And uh, to do that, we went and used these two blocks here. So, you guys can go and use whatever blocks you like with this little back part. It just depends on, uh, I guess, what building blocks you're into, what colors you're into, how you want it to look, and all the rest of it. But it really doesn't make too much of a difference. Okay, so now that we have the 4x6 base of the vehicle, let's go ahead and, I guess, start working on the other parts. We'll begin by placing our driver's seat down just so we know exactly where that's going to sit. And I'll show you exactly where that's going. That's going right there. Now, we've also got these two little extra spots here, this extra little row here. And this is going to be like our little controller area. So let's go ahead and we're going to drop our controllers on there. We're going to probably use two or three of those. So we'll just stack them up right there so we can get rid of that. Now, that's all taken care of. That's pretty much the whole base taken care of already. Let's go and start working on our handlebars. Now, this is where the probably most complicated part of the entire build comes from, but it's actually really, really simple. So, let's go and clear our hotbar because we don't need anything in there at the moment. Now, it, uh, the handlebars basically consist of uh, just a few blocks. You're going to want to start off with the bearings, of course. So, we'll go ahead and get those. We're going to want the off-road suspension, the bigger of the two. So, we'll get that one there as well. We're also going to get these table supports, which is kind of like the, I guess two by one block sort of pole type looking thing. Uh, we're also going to get the pipe corner and of course the pipe join. And that's pretty much all we need for these handlebars. Of course, apart from uh, the wheel that we decide to use and I think that will be the smaller wheel. So we'll grab that as well while we're here. Okay, so let's do this. So what you wanna do, you wanna start off with the two pipes. So we're gonna go and place the pipe facing upwards and the pipe facing upwards like that. We're going to go and place a pipe support like that or a table support and if we can get on top of that we're going to go and place oopsie uh two more there we go now on top of that i think this like seat's going to get in the way a little bit on top of that what you want to do is you actually want to place a bearing and another bearing now this is basically if you want to use the uh the whole tricycle mode now you don't need to use the tricycle mode I think the tricycle mode is actually quite pointless. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It's, in fact, it doesn't even work. Um, but yeah, if you do want to incorporate in the build, then I'll leave that there for you. So you then want to get the pipe here facing outwards like so. 
You then want to go ahead and put a bearing on either side of these two here. Very nice. You then want to go and get your pipe joiner thing. And uh, basically, you want to put it this way here. So you want to have this second part here pointing towards the body of the bicycle, not out the front, not up top. You want to have it pointing out the back. And uh, we're going to do exactly the same on this side so that it's pointing towards the vehicle as well. Then you want to get one more bearing on the outside of either of those. And then you want to go ahead and put a uh, pipe corner pointing towards the body as well. So really, that's the complicated part done already. That's the complicated part. So now we just got to like build everything out. So let's start off like with the simple part. We have the handlebars. The handlebars are pretty much just like that. Very, very simple. Very, very sweet. Cool. So next up, we're going to be doing, I think, suspension. So we want to go and place two of the off-road suspension. We want to go and place two of the uh, little table supports, two more of the off-road suspensions, and then two more table supports. And look how big it's starting to get already. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the bulk of it. All we got to do now is press, uh, use a bearing there, a bearing there. We then want to use a little pipe corner thing pointing inwards, another pipe corner thing pointing inwards. We're going to be using a bearing and another bearing and then a wheel and another wheel in there. And that's pretty much most of it already. So let's go and hook all of this up now. So we're going to be hooking most of this up to the first little controller at the bottom here. So use your little connector tool. We're going to connect this firstly to, I think, this one here and that one there. So leave the two horizontal ones. They're fine for now. In fact, what we'll probably do is we'll connect this top one to those just, just as like a temporary thing. We'll just connect those so that they don't flop around and go crazy. We're then going to connect these two outside ones also to this first bottom controller here. Okay, so now we've got to work out our angles and stuff. So the two inside ones, already it's kind of starting to look pretty complicated. You want to get the blue arrow pointing in the direction you want it to turn, which is going to be over the top. So we want to have the blue arrow pointing over the top and the same on this side, which it already is. So all we got to do now is get ourselves a switch. We're going to place the switch on top of that controller. You can actually put the switch wherever you like, but I like putting it on top of the controller. And then we're going to connect the switch to the controller. So what are we messing with? We're messing with number one and number two. So let's go and have a little play with this and see how far we need to turn them. It's going to be further than 90 degrees. In fact, I reckon it might be about 120. So let's give that a shot. We're going to have to take it off of the, the base. We're going to have to flip it over. Okay, it's way off of 120. So let's go and increase that a little bit more. It's going to be probably about 210. Oopsie, not that one there. 210. Mm, nearly there. Could it be one more? It might be one more. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So how does 225 look? Okay, we'll go with that. We can always adjust it later on. And now what we want to do is get these handlebars turning the right way. So the way we do that, I actually get the blue arrow pointing like downwards. So it's going to swing it downwards. And this side here should be right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get these here and set them to about 90 degrees. And there we go. We've got our handlebars and we've got our little, I guess, the front section here all ready to go. Oh, cool. That's all done. Easy. Okay. So let's go and throw our driver's seat back on. There we go. It actually hangs off the back just a little bit. And we're going to go and pick it up and put it back on the lift so we can work on it a little bit further. Okay. So I'm actually starting to wonder if the base of this thing is supposed to go one block further back than I originally built it. So I'm actually going to go and add two blocks to the back here because I think we need to. Otherwise, it hangs off the back and I don't think you should be doing that. So, the next step is, of course, getting our back wheel going. So that's very simple as well. All we're going to need is, let's go ahead and clear our hot bar here. We're going to need ourselves a bearing. We're going to need ourselves a staircase wedge. We're going to need ourselves staircase railing joint, which is this block right here. And we're going to need... I think that's actually it. We're going to need a big wheel. And that's really all it is. So we're going to go and place our bearing on this block here. Our bearing on this block here as well. We're going to go and we're going to place our block like this. Then we're going to go and place a staircase block on this side. In fact, I'm going to lower this just a little bit. And then we're going to go and place another staircase block on this side. And now basically all we do 
is extend this outwards. Now, we'll extend this out just probably a little bit extra than what we need to for now, just so I can demonstrate exactly how we work this out. We're then going to go and do the exact same on this side. We're going to get the little corner piece there. We're going to go a little corner piece there. We're going to go and connect these here out and drag them out all the way again. Okay, so now we got to work out where the big back wheel is going to sit. And we want to get it right up as close as we can to the seat. So it looks like it's going to sit on that block there. Then you want to do what you want to do. You want to place a bearing on there and place your little wheel there. You want to place a bearing on the opposite side and then place your wheel on top of that bearing as well. So there we have our big wheels. And now that's really the bulk of what it all is all about. Okay, so what we want to do, you want to actually place another switch... And connect the second switch now to our second controller. So let's go ahead and drag those together. Now this second controller is going to control basically these two bearings here. And these two bearings here, let us go into swag mode. So uh, we're going to make the blue arrows point upwards. Because this is going to turn up a little bit and lower the seat a tiny, tiny little bit. And then all we're going to do, oopsie. All we're going to do is add 15 degrees on the blue to each of these. So let's show you exactly what happens when we do this. We're going to sit like this. We're going to press the first switch. In fact, you can probably turn that down a little bit. So uh, let's go and turn that speed down just a tad. Otherwise, you start getting some really, really funky things happening. Let's go right about there. And uh, we're actually going to have to connect. Ooh, what's going on there? We're actually going to have to connect some of uh, these bearings up. So these two here. Oopsie. That one right there, we're going to connect up to this seat. And that's going to make it point the right direction. And we're going to do exact same with this side, which is this one here. There we go. Uh, like, they're both locked into place right now. And if we hop in the seat, we can actually see by turning... Well, we're turning the wrong way. So what we're actually going to have to do is uh, right-click both of those. Turn left. And it turns. Turn right. And it turns. Very, very cool. So... Now let's test out the little back part here. Let's go and press the second switch. And as you can see, it sort of lowers into swag mode. And it's kind of got a mind of its own right now. Now you want to make sure that you don't open up swag mode before you open up the bike. Otherwise, this happens. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. That's not exactly ideal. <laughs> That's not ideal at all. All right, so it's time to connect the engines to this bad boy. Let's go and grab those there, throw them in our hot bar. Now, with these two here, what we actually did in the original build is we placed them down on the side here. So we're going to do exactly that this time here as well. We're going to place it down the side like so. And then all we're going to do is connect it to its corresponding side and straight to the driver's seat. And we're going to turn this to face the front of the vehicle. So you got to make sure you do that. Otherwise, this thing will not drive properly. Let's go and do that. And this is already facing. And then we're going to go and crank this up to about three quarters of the way. So two little lines below the top. Okay, so I guess it's time we take this thing for a test drive and see if it actually works. So let's drop it off the lift. We're going to go and press the first switch. That's going to open her up. Then we're going to press the second switch. And then we're going to jump in the seat. So it turns, which is good. We press forward. It goes forward. And this thing drives already. So there you go. That's it. If that's as far as you want to go with your build, that's as far as you need to go. That's it. You've got a work working motorbike already. But there's a few more things that we can introduce just to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go and take it out of its little swag mode. Open it up like that. Now, one thing that I did end up adding later on in my build was a bit of a... I guess it's sort of like a... Kind of like a little stopping mount. What do you call it? Like uh, so it doesn't roll away. Basically, what we do, we add our little bearing right here. We're going to add a block there. It doesn't matter what block. doesn't matter what way you face the block. We're actually going to put this on top of here just for the time being. And then below that block, we're actually going to place one of these. And it's kind of going to be like a... I can't remember what you call these. It's like a stand. It's like when you like first... It's like on your, your bicycle when you're a child... It, it holds your bike in place, basically, when you're not riding it. So we're going to do exactly the same on this side. We're going to go and place this one here like that. We're going to place that there like so. And we're going to connect these bearings to the bottom controller. And we're going to make the blue arrows point towards the front like this. 
And then with the controller, what we're going to do is actually modify this to move upwards 90 degrees. So what happens now is when we drop it in, it looks like so. When we go and press the button, it's going to roll out. It's going to put its handlebars out. And then it's going to drop you onto the ground like so. So it's just an extra little thing. You don't really need it, but I quite like it. I don't know. I liked it when I added it. Also, another thing that we did, we actually broke these back blocks here. And we added some little extra little flares, little swag on the back of them. Just because. No real reason. No purpose at all, in fact. It's just there to look good. And I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like little flames are shooting out the back. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Now, the last thing that we really got to do is add us... I guess our tricycle mode if we want to do that. So, this really serves no purpose. So, this is completely by choice. What you want to do is, uh, I think we've connected two things previously to this one here. In fact, let's go and roll this out. So, we'll go and push that out like so. We're going to throw a switch onto the top controller here. We're going to connect those two up. And then on this second one, which ones is it actually connected to? Those. So we're going to make the blue ones on the inside. So they're going to be pushing outwards. And uh, basically all we do for the whole tricycle mode. You can probably play with this a little bit if uh, you want to. But uh, basically just throw a couple degrees on there. It doesn't really matter which, how far you go or whatever. But there you go. That's tricycle mode. Really, really simple. Does has no purpose at, like whatsoever. In fact, it doesn't even turn and drive properly with it. Um, but I guess it's just like an extra feature type of thing. So um, if you want to control these controls while sitting in the vehicle, all you need to do is drag the switches to the driver's seat. In fact, I missed one of them, I think. What did I do? Oh, the first one came off. What? Um, all right. And I recommend starting from the bottom and working up. So one, two, and three. So that way... Okay. What is just going on? Why is that wheel going floppy? What is going on there? Okay, for some reason the steering disconnected itself. That way, if all you want to do is jump on, you press 1 to open up the bike, you press 2 to go into swag mode, and then 3 to go into useless trike mode if that's what you're into. All that's really left is completely optional, and that is, of course, throwing some thrusters on the back for extra swag points. And uh, basically, all that involves is, I guess, putting a little block there, putting your thruster onto the side of it, doing the same on the other side. This is one of those completely pointless things. It really doesn't do anything but upset the balance of the bicycle, but I guess it's like a little bit of fun, so what the heck, why not? Just throw a switch anywhere. Connect the switch to those two thrusters. Connect the switch to the bike. And that's it. Press 1 to open her up. You can probably speed that up just a little bit. Press 2 to lower it down a little bit. Press 3 to go into useless mode. And press 4 to activate the thrusters. So that's it. That's your motorbike, guys. I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. Um, yeah, I hope you guys built along while we did this. And as you can see, the thrust has really, really upset the balance of this bike. Like, it's, it makes it a little bit harder to steer and stuff. But it's still pretty good nonetheless. In fact, this one here handles a lot better than the last one I built, which I raced Coda in. So this is actually pretty darn good if you ask me but i'm i'm really happy with it guys hope you guys are as well if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful make sure to go ahead and punch that like button make it rain them thumbs ups but most importantly guys have a fantastic day i will see you guys in another scrap mechanic video soon thank you so much for watching bye for now it all changes today, baby. It all changes today. No more laughing at me. No more laughing at me. Because today, we build ourselves a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini, baby.